All right, watch this. All right, how does it look? I got some new LED lights for the channel, for the room, try to just make it look nicer for all you guys. Um, We got this little L bar that I put on my closet, barely up there, like that could literally fall in any given second, to be honest. So if it falls, don't be shocked. But more importantly, we got some champagne too. So let me know what you guys think about the lights right there. If they look terrible, I'll take them down. It's not a permanent thing. I just figured, oh, these could look nice if I set it up right, you know? So hopefully they look nice, but let me get, let me know what you guys think. But today we are going to be watching The Hunger Games, The Ballad of Songbirds and Snakes. Now, it has been a very long time since we have had a Hunger Games movie on the channel. And I am so excited for this because Hunger Games was actually one of my very first couple videos. The first four movies were some of the very first videos and we've come a long way on the channel since then so it's gonna be nice it's gonna feel a bit nostalgic i first like saw that this movie was coming out i thought that i knew it was a prequel but i thought it was about Hamage and like his games and everything i'm like oh that's lit let's go but no it's about snow and that's the only thing i know about it which is still pretty cool it's gonna be really interesting learning about him because he was a very interesting character in the first four movies he was a dickhead but i guess this is more of a prequel and an origin story to him and why he is the way he is so i'm super excited to watch this movie and based off just what i've heard it's a fantastic movie like his his character arc is absolutely insane so but yeah i'm gonna stop wasting time the full three action will be available on patreon but anyways let's get started the dark days three years before the first annual hunger games <laughs> damn why is he doing that because it's a goddamn free-for-all yeah it's about to chop you up and make you in the soup too your father is dead, Coriolanus. Mm. It was a rebel, they Damn. say. Coriolanus? That's, I've never heard that. Sounds like an ancient name. Part one, the mentor. It's really gorgeous. Best cousin ever. Wait, is this the the designer of um from the first four movies? This isn't that far back, so like. Also, I think this is Jules from Euphoria. The voice sounds so familiar. That's cool to see her again. It's been a while since I've, I've seen the first four Hunger Games, so like I may not be too familiar with all the names, to be honest. Cooks for a steak for breakfast. Get to throw half out. Shame on you, Corio. Don't you know that they're starving in the districts? Out of touch. Daddy not teach you table manners? Maybe he would have if he wasn't so busy running the country. <laughs> Still back to be mashed. <laughs> don't do that. We all know you like him. I don't like him, Arachne. I tolerate him. Damn. High hopes for this. But there's no prize today. Not anymore. I am honored to introduce to you the creator of the Hunger Games themselves, Dean oh. Casca Highbottom. Oh, oh. Mm. Damn, he's drunk as fuck in this too. And of course, Dr. Gall. <laughs> I am here to tell you that there has been a change this year. I've grown bored of the games and simply aren't watching anymore. And if the games are to continue at all, there must be an audience. <laughs> the Plinth Prize will no longer be determined by who has the best grades. Excuse me? But by who is the best mentor in the Hunger Games. What if I get a pathetic runt girl from one of the four districts, like eight or twelve? Jesus. Your role is to turn these children into spectacles, Miss Crane? Mm-hmm. Not survivors. <sighs> Yeah, because you just got to get the audience back. All right, so that's where that came from. You know, Haymage obviously mentored Katniss and Peeta. It's like, that's cool how they came up with that in this movie. The rug girl, District 12. She belongs to Coriolanus Snow. All right, well, she's from District 12, so she's fucking winning. It's just something about District 12, dude. Just that underdog mentality. <laughs> Ooh. Help her! Do you imagine they just shot Lucy for doing that? Oh, damn. Oh, or that. Is she out of her mind? My charm can't take my humor. You know, okay, I feel like she's gonna, okay, later on, obviously, Katniss is gonna end up reminding him a lot of this girl, Lucy. I feel like Hunger Games is gonna hit, hit even harder after this movie because he's probably, he's gonna mentor her. And he's probably gonna become really close to her. So then you get to see Hunger Games from like a completely different perspective on like how he treated Katniss now. Come on, boys. I mean, bro, what other attitude would you have? You know, like, fuck it, I'm already dead. 
Good luck with that poor little songbird. He's sabotaging us. That girl's not gonna win these games. You saw her, she's underfed, unstable. Make every second before then count. I'll get her to sing again. I wouldn't do anything at all, unless I could trust you. How am I supposed to get her to trust me? Imagine it was your name that they pulled and you had mm -hmm. been ripped from your home. Don't discount her just because she's district choreo. You might have more in common with her than you think. Yeah. What does my mentor do besides bring me roses? Gonna help you not die. Look, I've seen your competition. This is easily, this is easily winnable. We're not, it's not like we're going against fucking Thad Castle here again, okay? I remember back in like the first movie, one of the kids was literally the most jacked athletic dudes you've ever seen in your life. And then that, then actually in Catching Fire, Thad Castle was literally in that movie. Alan, Rich, Alan Richardson, I think his name was. This cage is delightful. Get him, Reaper. I will kill you right now. He'll do it too. Reaper killed a peacekeeper back in 11. Right, Damn. I said, y'all got family back home? Kill them if you hurt him. She's standing up for him. Besides, he's my mentor. Yeah. I might need him. What the fuck are we? Oh, Jesus. Oh, ah. Oh, my God. We're literally at a zoo. I'm Lucretius Lucky Flickerman, a man who needs no introduction. You'll know me as your favorite weatherman. And who are you? And why are you in there with them? We're live. <laughs> yeah, he sees how they're being treated. Anything would be nice. Dude, imagine he fights in the games with her. That'd be late. There's no way he does, but like, I'm just saying, that would be pretty sick. And this is my tribute. Lucy Gray Baird from District 12. Hi there. Can I touch your dress? Of course. I like your dress too. Oh, right, she's easily going to become a fan favorite. Before it's too late, and I mean too late. <laughs> Capital News. I'm Lucretius. Yeah, wasn't, the, wasn't he in the first uh, couple movies too? Your little excursion is in violation of about five different academy rules, Mr. Snow. I'm moving for the game makers to disqualify you as mentor immediately. You said we had to get mm. our tributes to perform, not that we had to stay away. Coriolanus didn't show those people anything they didn't already know. I don't need your help, Sajan. Buttes are human beings, just like us. That's why nobody wants to watch the games. You're good at games. Maybe one day you'll be a game maker like me. If the oh. <laughs> what? Are the Hunger Games for? Commemorate the end of the war. Commemorate the dull, dull, dull. Cancel food shipments, stage executions. Why games? Please. You have a problem with my games? Some of those kids were two years old when the war ended. The oldest of them were only Damn. eight. I don't see how making children fight each other to the death is protecting anyone. Maybe we should be viewing those tributes as human beings. If we need people to watch, we should be letting them get closer to the tributes before the games to make the stakes personal. If they thought the tribute they cared about had a chance of winning. It's like me with the Raiders. <laughs> Look, I, I know Lucy Gray may not win in the arena, but if you give her a chance, I would bet the plinth prize that she can win people's. Yeah, I'm not sure if she's making it just for the just for Snow's character development. I think she dies. I know I said like earlier she's gonna she's gonna win, but like that was kind of a joke just from District 12, and so is Katniss. But like, how do you think your tribute will have a chance if you can't eat? He was my classmate back in two. Damn. Yeah, I know. I'm so blameless. I'm choking on it just so he could mm. show me that I could never go back to two. Damn. But being capital is gonna kill me. So do something about it. Like the rebel. Oh yeah. I'm bad news. That's funny. I'm really digging his character as of now. Real, it's really interesting where he where he stands right now versus later on. Here, bro. You gotta make a better effort than that. Come on, <laughs> the fuck are you doing? I might mm. even be able to get the audience to send you gifts in the arena. You just have to try singing again to win people mm. over. I don't sing when I'm told. I sing when I have something to say. The guards say you get money if you get more people to watch, and you say you want to help me. Which is it? Both. Oh. <laughs> Honest. One. Which is so sweet. So young. Oh, she's fucking dying, dude. She, she's getting waxed. <laughs> R.I.P. <laughs> that little girl is, she's just like Rue from the first movie, you know? It's like, she's just a little girl, you know? So she stands like no chance. 
it's like it's it's so sad to see you know he went through hard times during the war too so so it's like his only way to relate to her you know and it's just making them closer though sure would have been nice to meet you under different circumstances yeah it would have been oh shit kill her ass get her get oh oh she actually fucking caught her fuck that bitch it's okay i'll get help somebody help us please <gasps> no damn I suggest that we get closer to the tributes. You're just lucky that your songbird didn't peck out your eyes too. No, he, no, my God. He, it's not why she killed that other girl, dude. Not because they're just savages. No, dude. It's because you're fucking teasing her with food. She got pissed off. They're not what? savages. Jesus. It just shows you how they think of people, you know. You must use her or... You'll end up dead in the mm. like your father. No. This is definitely gonna influence him, though. That's like the the from SpongeBob. <laughs> Our president has decided that the games must go on. To show everyone the capital is unafraid of such acts of terror. You and I aren't gonna be friends. Jesus. I'm gonna win, and for that to happen, we need to make you more marketable shut the fuck up all the mentors are just extreme are just so out of touch with reality they have no idea how to talk to any anyone they're mentoring cory lanis is like cory i think i'm saying that right is the only one who understands what struggle is he had to survive during the war a bit you know he can relate to lucy on that a bit at least he's actually just a good fucking dude so it's obvious all the other mentors are just insanely selfish so and they don't actually care if their contestant wins or not he actually cares you know. I want you to win. It's Reaper, right? Um, let me read you what. Mm. Treat me like a fucking human. Like, damn. Thank you. Are you okay? See, yeah, like that. It was the night before the games and your last chance to win people over. I can't send you gifts in the arena without their money. A guitar could persuade me, maybe. You really want to take care of me in that arena, Coriolanus? Start by thinking I can actually win. Yeah. Which one of you actually wrote it? Well, was... I was inspired. And the gifts in the arena. Those were all mine. Well, fortunately, my assistant mistook it for trash this morning. Please, Miss Dovecote, retrieve it for us, won't mm. you? Oh. So we might all consider your... Oh, that's easy. Just... You can snatch that real quick. My little predators are... Perfectly docile with those they can trust. Mm. So if they're used to your scent, they'll leave you alone. Oh shit. <laughs> A new scent, however? There again, yeah. Retrieve it. Just call her bluff. Get waxed. Get fucking waxed. Come on. Yeah. Oh! Damn. Waxed. Okay, why did you just hold your hand on there, bro? I like why didn't you just go in just Mm, you know, like, come on. <laughs> They're good, your suggestions. Will she die? The pleasure in breaking ground in one's research is one gets to find out. <laughs> Doesn't even know. You have an arena to promote, and it's time for my milk and crackers. <laughs> Welcome to the arena for the 10th annual Hunger Games. Tribute is it? Now, there's more to it than this, but, like, this looks tiny. All right, new stadium. All right, gotta get a new stadium. Damn. She's gonna save him. She's gonna be the only one who came back for him. Yep. See, they're like this now. It's because he actually cares about her. He would have saved you. Yes, he would. I, I think he would. 100%, I think he would. Damn, and they're just gunning down all of them. No! Okay, at least they're not gonna kill her. At least they're not gonna kill her. She's alive. What happened? Yeah, yeah what the fuck happened? They must have been planning it for months. Four tributes were killed. But damn. Yeah, I was about to say, like, how many tributes died? Marcus got out. At least he has a better chance out there than he would tomorrow. Tomorrow? Damn. They're not still going ahead with the games. Mm, yeah, they are, huh? Lucy Gray could have run. 
Mm, no, she's fighting tomorrow. I hope she's gonna sing. I was a girl, I fell in Donations. 89, damn, that jumps up. 110 and 138. 199. Dude, oh my god, this is jumping. Yep, they're invested. See, everyone's getting invested in Lucy. Dude, I can't even imagine now in the first Hunger Games the type of way he felt when Katniss started singing her song and the fact that she's also from District 12. Mm. I gotta rewatch the first Hunger Games movie now, dude. I gotta rewatch those. You're alive. Those bombs, they have changed everything. There's a hole down in the floor, leads down to some tunnels. I've tried it, and you can disappear down there. You ignore the weapons in the middle and you run as fast as you can for that hole. You saved me, Lucy Gray. Oh, kiss. Oh, no. Oh, oh, no, no. Don't even breathe it in because small amounts can be deadly. We all do things we're not proud of to survive. We are going to win this, Lucy Gray. <sighs> I really hope she does, but... I don't know, fam. I don't know. For the sake of the plot, I don't know. All right, part two of the prize. Games, happy Remember, when your tribute dies, get out of here. Jesus. Okay, look, kind of like what I was saying earlier, I think Lucy does have a chance just because there's no, like, you know, like in the first Hunger Games, you had that one kid who was just, he's been training his entire fucking life for these games. I don't know if there's actual fact or not, but like, if I had to guess, I would say. But it, it felt like he was training for the games his entire life and everyone else from the district. Cause I just remember the scene where they're like demonstrating what they're good at. And it's like, okay, they've all been training for this. And this movie, it's like, no one here is trained a fucking day in their life. So it's like, it's pretty even to be honest. So Lucy could win. No. Better now knowing he's off the streets. Wow. He's the monsters! All yeah. of you! Okay, well, he cares too, but because he's from that district and everything. I mean, he's cared since the beginning, but like. Mm. Mm. Oh, God. This would be so stressful. Dude, this arena sucks. Like, this is so tiny. Like, there's no, there's no dynamic. Oh, I see why these games aren't that popular. You know, with this low budget ass arena. <gasps> no! Bro, kick that bitch in the face! Oh, yeah, bitch, get waxed. I knew we should have recruited that Reaper kid. Yeah, Reaper's like the only threat to Lucy, to be honest. The girl they just showed killing him, most of the other tributes, like, she's a pretty big threat, but. I'd rather fight her than Reaper, to be honest. This warm front is gonna come down and collide here. Squeeze Bro, I don't give a fuck about the weather going on in the districts. He did say he was a weatherman, though. Oh, he's not even dead. I saw his eye twitching. He's not dead. <laughs> oh, fuck. Damn. Was it mercy? Was it murder? Mercy. Damn, this movie's already got me shedding tears, dude. <laughs> Oh, damn. Well, there goes that fucking package. You can't save her by watching. Send her something. Who do you think makes that final decision for the prize you so covet, Mr. Snow? I will do everything in my power to ensure that you don't see a dime. How much do you care if she lives now? He still cares. He still does. It's not about the money. He still cares about her. Obviously, he wants both, but like she means more to him. Then, of course, he's going to try even harder to make sure she lives. I need someone to get him out right now. I will not have these rebels make a further mockery of my games. It might as well be sounding a hole into the districts to revolt. Hmm. Don't worry, still got 65 years. You want him to end the games tonight? It'll look a lot worse if the tributes kill two of us. So don't let them. You still want that plinth prize, don't you? I'll freeze the feed for an hour. I estimate that's all we have until the people notice. Oh, arrows, bow and arrow, wow. You need to go, Koryu. I promise to get you out. God cut the feed. Tributes kill you in here, she's just gonna say you died of the flu. Do you want to fight these tributes or fight for them? Mm. Because if you yeah. want to make real change, you need to stay alive. Ha Spend your father's money, do some real good. Please. Come on, Koryu's right, come on. Yeah! Oh, shit. Don't oh, wax this fool, dude. Are you kidding me? 
Bro, this one has one fucking hand! Wait, does he? Yeah, I'm pretty sure it does. Okay. Oh my god, bro just tore his ACL. He's dead. I don't wanna hurt you! You're gonna have to. Oh! Damn. Put your songbirds next on my list. Your songbirds next on my list. Shut the fuck up. Swear to God, if Lucy, if Lucy dies to that bitch, I'll be so fucking pressed. I'll actually be so mad. I had to do something. Yeah, he just feels so guilty, you know? What happened in there? That's humanity undressed. See how quickly we become predator. Damn. The Alpines don't have a choice. I was yeah. talking about you. All your fine manners, education, background. See how quicker all that just. Have an eye. Yeah. Boy. It must have been awful. No, it felt good. Oh. And it felt. <gasps> oh. Powerful. Yeah. Oh, no. This is the downfall of him. This is where it starts. <laughs> oh, shit. He's going insane. He, he wouldn't turn on her like this. Just going after Lucy. Well, I actually, no, there's something in his mouth. Is this full of rabies? Folding in itself. Yeah, look at his mouth. Look. Yeah. The foam. I think it's rabies. Oh, shit. They gave him rabies. Before big games, I shoot rabies. It gives me the edge I need and it's undetectable. Only idiot losers do steroids anymore. From that train. Yeah. Rabies, it makes you afraid of water. Send him a drone. Scare him. Yes. Away from her. Oh, oh crap, yeah, right on him. Damn. That's tough that he died, but hey, at least Lucy didn't have to kill him. And at least he didn't die tragically by another tribute, you know? It still sucks that he died, though. Yeah, she feels like shit about that because that was kind of her. Corio told her to do that, and the drone is what knocked him off and killed him. So, like, she feels like shit about that. Oh, Jesus. Our corn's gonna send something in. Oh, wow. Oh, oh. Hey, Walters. It's just gonna crash everywhere. Yep. Yep. These drones are not very good. Hey! <laughs> You can't attack the tributes. I'm just sending water. Yeah, that's all I did. Like, literally, that's all I did. It's not my fault these drones don't fucking work. Bro, she has the high ground. What are you gonna do? <laughs> okay, you're gonna climb that shit? I'm just gonna take this axe and... Oh, get your ass. Hmm. Yeah, she has her pitchfork. Her pitchfork's longer than the axe, so she- yeah. Oh! Damn. Bro, I'm just throwing it. Fuck that. I'm just gonna throw it. Damn. Damn. R.I.P. Ooh! Oh! Oh my god. You know who would be absolutely insufferable in the Hunger Games? is um galley from the maze runner oh my god i would never root against somebody so hard in my life <laughs> if they like will polter played someone and portrayed him like that oh my she's just gonna accept her death Do. she's dead Do. damn he's laying them out he just tore down the flag Fuck your flag. Are you gonna punish me now? Are you going to punish me now? Damn. Mm, yeah, she had to cut this off. I'm afraid I must interrupt our games to announce a tragic law. Come to his injuries sustained in the rebel bombing. They will be celebrating this young boy's death as a triumph. Yeah, what are they doing? Oh, are they gonna let all the snakes go in the arena later for the finale? Okay, so they won't attack Lucy. That's what he gave her earlier. Use it wisely. That is not gonna be good. Yep, snakes. Is it over? Oh, she's gonna get waxed. Damn. Not candy. Damn. 
RIP Reaper. Damn, I wish he had a better death. Like he would, you know, he kind of goes out a hero. He deserved a better I death, I feel all. like. I can't have killed them all for nothing. Fuck you, bitch. Yep, get whacked. Yeah. She's one, let her out. No, nah, that's not nah. your call to make, Mr. Snow. Mm. Yeah, no, she wants all the tributes to die. Send the message. Dude, no way. Does Lucy die? No. Put in the door. It should work. It should work, though. Don't you go. She won. Why aren't they attacking her? Must be the singing. Yeah. It's calming them. She can't sing forever. Okay, why does he kind of look like Josh Hutcherson a little bit? Get yeah. her out! Who will watch the games if there's no victor? Mm hmm Yeah, what's the point then, you know, for next year? Exactly. Get her out. Okay, so Luke, Lucy did win. Okay, let's go. Let's go. How many times has District 12 won the Hunger Games then? I'm guessing this is the first and then Katniss is the second. I warned you, Mr. Snow. Cheating will be punished from Seven. And that old handkerchief. We found it in the snake tank, appropriately condemning you with your father's own initials. Mm, damn. Exile for the next 20 years as an anonymous peacekeeping grunt. The sound of snow falling. Part three, the peacekeeper. Send me to 12. Yeah, send me there. Hey, he did what was right. He's gonna take his punishment. He's gonna own it. Mm. Oh, damn. Mr. James, what are you doing? What do you think? That what I did in the arena? Once I found out where they were sending you. He came with you. <sighs> I couldn't get out fast enough. Barely made the train lose this stupid knee, but... What a G. Hey, how's that AC all doing, bud? Make a real difference out here. Mm. And Corio, what is she guilty of? Being directly associated with rebels. What more do they need? If she had gotten through the crowd, I don't think I would have been able to shoot her. Oh, my mm. oh she's here. She so gonna see him. Damn, that beat drop was hard. <laughs> Hmm, what are you doing over there, buddy? Plotting a revolution? <laughs> oh. Thinking you're in control. Uh. Thinking you'll change me, maybe rearrange me, maybe Ooh. get a fat coke. Damn. Damn. I know you miss me, Lucy. Oh, oh, okay, okay. Get your hands off me, until I Bro, get the fuck out of here. Yeah, go be his ass. Go be his ass for you. Ooh. Alive. Yeah, at least you know she's alive. Are you? Oh. Are, are you? Strange things did happen here. Yeah, it's a song Katniss sang. Damn, so was the song like passed down through the district to Katniss? That's fucking wow. My last sense so that I could come here to 12. Because I had to try to find you. He said he was glad that I survived you. Trying to get in her head. I didn't have a choice. You are not a killer, Lucy Gray. Yes, I am. Both of us are now. I mean, given the circumstance, like... These people, don't you think they need help? They lost the war, Sejanus. A war they started. I'm not about to throw away any chance I might have of getting home someday. Just because you feel a bit guilty. Seen those birds before. Mocking Jays. Mm -hmm. Would you really go back, though? That's where I belong. But I hope you'll come back with me. Ooh. Capital's not for me. Yeah, there's no way. Last has order. Well, the Hunger Games are order? No. What if this was our life, Coriolanus? Mm, I don't think so. Early for what? To eat the roots. Bro, this life is not for him. <laughs> Some people call it swamp potato. But I think Katniss has a much nicer ring to Mmm. Wow. <laughs> Without trust, you might as well be dead to me. You can trust me. Too. I don't know. I feel like he's changing a bit. I don't know. He wants to get back to the capital. Like, he's here to serve his sentence, but 
He's committed to it, but hmm. to officer training in District Two. You'll no, thank you. Wage. No, thanks. If you even have another shot at the Capitol one day, <laughs> train leaves in ten days. Fuck, he might. He's gonna take it. I'll never see anyone from District Twelve again. That's not what I want. <laughs> Fuck, what does he do? This is an honor, Private, not an option. Oh, ah, he has to go. Then he doesn't even have a choice. Bro, does he even tell Lucy then, or does he just dip? He probably doesn't even have the heart to tell her, dude. Like, yeah, he wants to stay for Lucy, but also he wants to make it back to the Capitol for his family and everything, and he's just more familiar with the Capitol than he is with the lifestyle of living in District 12. They're going up north to start a new life far away from Pan Am. Oh, okay, they're just dipping. As they told me I could go if I got oh. up for them. Oh, the, it's a wire. If you're mine, they're all rebels. Yeah, he knows what he's doing. I won't. They're not planning on doing anything dangerous. Your father will just buy your way out of it like he always does. While I'll be hung just for knowing you. The leader, Spruce, he yeah. wants to get his sister Lil out of jail. Got everyone, got the names. He's gonna turn him in, isn't he? Save himself. Guns, Sejanus? I didn't know mm. there was gonna be weapons, Corio. They lied to me. Of course. It's okay, Spruce. He's with me. I, he, I, I told him to come in here. Oh shit, oh shit. She's doing us too. She's with me. Mm, she's she's... Quite dumb. Yeah, well, I mean, yeah. We're not going anywhere. Oh god. Neither are you. My pa's gonna string y'all up for this. Ooh. Oh, she won't, Spruce. She's all talk, no action. Nah, she, she'll do it. Hey, how'd you enjoy the Capitol? By the way. Ah, uh, yeah, she'll do it. Uh, spite for Lucy. <coughs> oh. Oh. oh! Damn, no. He couldn't risk it. He couldn't risk it. What did you just do? Well, you just shot the mayor's daughter, son. What did Fuck it. You weren't a rebel before. You are now. Fuck. I think this was us. You reckon you just gonna walk out of here free? Yep. If I'm gonna swing for this, you swing with me. Mm. Ah! Bro, do Oh! <laughs> I didn't trust him anyway. He was a chump. It's your fault. It's only gonna get worse if you don't pull yourself together. If you breathe a word now, both of us, we're finished. So we go back out there and we act like nothing is wrong. It's not easy for Sir Janus. Those guns were the only new sand besides the four of us. So we're gonna be okay. <sighs> no, he's dying. Sir Janus is dying. Dude, I don't trust this. I feel like they're all gonna die. Like, this is gonna go so wrong. Like, there's no way. Still in Panem's grasp, they will have before the week is out. Watch, are they gonna start killing innocent people to find these guns and find who did it? Like Mayor's going to get me killed, Cornelius. He already thinks it was me. Billy Tom is gonna step What about the covey? Just wanted to say goodbye. Damn. It's gonna lose her anyway. But this is the first time I've felt ashamed. Damn. Get the other one up here! Tim, Sir Janus, huh? That's why he's ashamed because he's one of them. He's not up there with uh, Corio either. Yep, there he is. The leader, Spruce, he wants to get his sister Lila. Oh, Corio's responsible for it. Just because she Will knows help. the man that no, they no, no, get, no. it's wrong. Ah, 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 Damn! Ah, ah. Screaming for his mom. It's gonna be burned inside his head. Damn. <laughs> I'm sorry. Damn. Oh, man. Dude, but after the first movie, I had this song stuck in my head for weeks after Kat I heard um, Katniss sing this. It would be nice not to kill anyone else up north by him. Seems enough to me. I'm gonna make a walk. Hmm. You killed three? Who's the third? said you killed three people i only know about two do not lie to me my old self i killed him so i could come with you damn I pulled that one out of his ass who is the third like i guess he really meant that he means sir janice because like he's technically responsible for that like he didn't kill him but indirectly killed him for that because you know he recorded him and gave him up like that so so that's why he said three you can go back home mm. will you Hmm, will he though? No more of the sense. He has a choice. Besides me. What choice, yep, what choice do you make? Oh fuck, what if he kills her? Besides you. Are you blackmailing him? You wouldn't tell anyone? Of course not. Oh god. Watch down by the lake. I thought it was too early for that. Well, the world changes awful fast. Oh Jesus Christ. She's switch. she's switching up. Missy Gray? Oh! 
Oh, damn, the snake. Oh. Is that poisonous? Are you trying to kill me? After everything I've done for you. Oh, he's tweaking. Oh, yeah, he feels betrayed right here. Tweaking. And who are you? Do you determine? The victor. Mm, he's the Welcome victor. home, Mr. Snow. God damn it, my boy switched up. Dude, he's been through some shit. Half of it, at least. I only dreamt them up as an assignment. A joke. Damn. When I sobered up, I wanted it destroyed, but your father had stolen it from mm. me. So his dad's responsible for the games. I tried to stop them however I could, but then you came along. Now the blood of so many more generations will be, be on my hands. Yep. Because you've shown us the price people are willing to pay for a good show. Fuck. He, he wanted them to end the original. My contacts inform me that she's disappeared. That the mayor might have killed her out there, but there's no proof. And mysteries have a way of driving people mad. <laughs> Look at you. Dude, it looks like Draco Malfoy now. It's crazy how he wanted to end them in the first place, but snow is the reason they kept going. That's so shit. It's the things we love most that destroy us. All right. Well, that was the Hunger Games, the Ballad of Songbirds and Snakes. All right, that was the Hunger Games. I thought his character arc was really interesting. Started off having so much empathy for the tributes and everything. Like he actually cares. He's actually a decent person. And by the end right there, his perspective did a complete 180. He now sees himself as the victor it's surprising that he sees himself that way now but you know it is a prequel so you knew it was coming it's just how does it happen you know and that's what makes it really interesting throughout the movie you can slowly see his perspective start to change a little bit like he tried so hard to get lucy to win the games and everything because in he actually developed a strong connection to her and so he actually cared about her so he genuinely wanted her to win after the games is when his perspective on everything slowly started to turn after going to the district and living through that that's when he became more selfish in a way because he was he had to go there just to serve his time and get back to the capital he went to district 12 for lucy but his overall his long-term plan wasn't to stay there forever like you could tell he didn't want to be there forever who the hell was lighting fireworks off right now he didn't want to be there forever obviously him and lucy kind of turned on each other like he went a little bit insane and yeah he shot her i'm guess i'm guessing he actually shot her and that wasn't just like he envisioned her in his head or something i don't know but all i think is She's alive, she got away, and they never see each other again. But it puts a lot into perspective on how he must have felt about Katniss in, in the first movies. Like, there's so many similarities between Katniss and Lucy. I really need to rewatch the first movies to see, like, exactly how he treated her, to see, okay, how much of an impact did Lucy really have on him, you know? I haven't seen the first couple movies in such a long time. That, that would be a really fun rewatch. But anyways, comment down below what you thought about this movie, down below in the comments. And if you liked the video, like the video. And thanks for watching.